I heard you paint houses. Yes, yes. From so a I, rejuvenated I, I Robert De Niro in The I, Irishman yeah. to Will Smith seeing Double in Gemini Man, or Robert Downey Jr.'s Junior, Hollywood's top echelon of actors have found the fountain of youth at the click of a button. What happens around here? This Montreal company is one of many responding to the de-aging demand. For this 2011 Quebec film, de-aging the actors instead of recasting was the simplest solution. We have been asked recently for several projects to do tests, and uh, there's one that we're working on right now where we're doing quite a bit of de-aging. Hello? The tool is also increasing the range of roles for actors. In The Irishman, digital de-aging allowed director Martin Scorsese to work with 76-year-old Robert De Niro for a story stretching over five decades. You have my face in your monitor? To demonstrate the potential, Rodeo FX decided to de-age my 46-year-old face. Got some wrinkles, a little bit of gray. Now we apply the magic wand and... <laughs> I, I'm getting a little bit of, like, early high school flashback. In just a few hours, I've gone back decades. So it's okay. thicker at the hairline. Nice. Sure. Tightening up the skin, rounding out the face a little bit. Yeah. How, well, how young did you get? You're not that Digital old. media expert Sarah Bay Jung was impressed by my transformation. Wow. Yeah. But less impressed by the limits of the technology in The Irishman. Uh, what was less convincing, of course, were then the full body shots where you saw the way in which the characters moved. And so there, there was at times a kind of a disconnect between what the faces looked like and the kind of convincing uh, nuance of the, of the face and the shadow and things like that. And the dots are tracking dots. Nevertheless, some actors are already joking about computers extending their careers. What I'm excited about is now there's a completely digital 23-year-old version of myself that I can make movies with now. <laughs> it is, of course, a, a huge impact, not just in who gets cast, but uh, does anyone get cast? But this director says the biggest roadblock to full digital actors is our brains. This lizard brain says something's wrong, um, and that leads you into this place called the Uncanny Valley, is the animation term. Um, and, it, and it just is off-putting. So while the Uncanny Valley should keep digital actors out of auditions, digital de-aging could add years to megastar careers. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.